Six Dinner Sid by Inga Moore. Cover of book. A black cat, Sid, sits outside by some bushes and flowers. He is next to a stack of six differently painted and colored dishes. He looks out of the cover of the book. A black cat, Sid, sits on the corner of a street by several houses. One of the houses has a sign that says Aristotle Street. Some trees and bushes decorate the street. Sid lived at number one Aristotle Street. A series of houses in a variety of pastel colors line the right side of the road. They are labeled in ascending numbers one through six. On the left, a fence, bushes, and trees create shadows on the street. In front of number six, Aristotle Street, Sid sits in a shadow and cleans himself by licking his body. He also lived at number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. Left page. Sid stands on a picnic table by a brick window ledge with a flower on it. He's looking into a window where a pot can be seen steaming. To the right of the window are a broom and a watering can. To the left, flowering ivy grows up the wall. Right page. The page is split into four quadrants. Top left, Sid steps through a doorway onto a black and white checkered floor. On the floor are a bucket and a white plate with food, which Sid approaches. Top right, Sid on a blue floor with black and white specks eats off a brown plate next to a pair of boots. Bottom left, Sid in a kitchen eats off a white dish next to white cabinets. A towel hangs next to him and on the counter a pair of gloves can be seen. Bottom right, Sid sits in a corner on a tiled floor next to a broom and an empty white bowl with an orange rim. He sits on his hind legs and his belly is noticeably enlarged. He licks his right front paw. Sid lived in six houses so that he could have six dinners. Each night he would slip out of number one, where he might have had chicken, into number two for fish. On to number three for lamb, liver at number four, fish again at number five, ending at number six with beef and kidney stew. Sid sits outside on the steps of a house on Aristotle Street. A balding older man with a monocle, orange sweater vest, and bow tie scratches his ear. Sid looks over at a woman in a flowered dress with a bag passing to the right, who looks over her shoulder smiling at him. In the window to Sid's right, a man with dark hair and a goatee uses a rag to clean. He stares down at the old man petting Sid, but looks unhappy. Behind the old man, a gray hair man with a mustache and a gray turtleneck peeks around the edge of a bay window and looks out of the corner of his eye at the man petting Sid suspiciously. In the window at the corner of the street, an older woman can be seen looking out by some flowers. A person in a blue sweatshirt and brown pants looks behind them at Sid as they ride a bike down the street towards a park. Since the neighbors did not talk to each other on Aristotle Street, they did not know what Sid was up to. They all believed the cat they fed was theirs and theirs alone. The pages are split into six smaller irregular sections. On the left half of the page, top right, Sid sits on a cushion on a chair next to an old woman in an armchair reading a book. His eyes are closed and he delicately licks his paw. Bottom left, Sid stands postured next to a mouse hole inside which a mouse can be seen, his head bowed down. Behind him, a gray-haired, mustached man in a blue shirt can be seen watching him through the railing of a staircase. Bottom right, 
Sid stands on a chair and bats at a fish held up by a man with a goatee in a green shirt. Behind them are a picture of a king and a shelf with books on it. Right page, top left. A man with a monocle and slippers sits in an armchair and holds a ball that Sid is gripped onto playfully while on his back on a colorful zigzag patterned rug. Top right. Sid sits across the shoulders of a woman in a flowered dress with her hair in a bun while she stirs a steaming bowl. There, by a shelf of pots and pans. Bottom, a person in a blue sweatshirt points and directs Sid to chase after a small brown dog that has its tail between its legs as it runs away down the sidewalk. But Sid had to work hard for his dinners. It wasn't easy being six people's pet. He had six different names to remember and six different ways to behave. When he was being Scaramouche, Sid put on swanky airs. As Bob, he had a job. He was naughty as mischief and silly as Sally. As Sooty, he smooched. But as Schwartz, he had to act rough and tough. On the top of the left page, Sid sits atop a brick wall and yawns. The remainder of the left and right pages are split into smaller pictures in groups of six. The left page pictures show Sid being scratched under his chin, between his ears, on his shoulders, on his back, on his belly, and on his chest. The right page shows Sid sleeping in a variety of settings, including on a large green armchair, in a blue cupboard, on a bed, on a cat bed, in a box, and in a basket. All this work sometimes wore Sid out, but he didn't care as long as he had six dinners. And besides, he liked being scratched in six different places and sleeping in six different beds. Sid walks through a garden of orange and white flowers and leafed plants with a fountain. A bird flies overhead towards the bird bath part of the fountain. In fact, life on Aristotle Street was just about perfect for Sid. Until... Left page. Sid in a green room with a woman in a polka dotted dress sitting on a couch reading a newspaper. Sid's body is arched as he coughs. Right page. Several people sit in chairs. One young girl holds a black and white rabbit. A boy holds a fishbowl, and the woman holds a cardboard cat carrier with holes that Sid's eyes can be seen peeking out of. A man peeks around the corner of a hallway and makes eye contact with the woman. One cold, damp day, he caught a nasty cold. The next thing he knew, he was being taken to the vet. Poor Sid. He was taken not once... Left page. A waiting room in a vet's office. An old man in a sweater vest holds a wicker cat crate in his lap with Sid inside. To their left, a man with a bird in a cage talks to a man with a dog. In the background, a young boy holds a container with a turtle. The right page is split into six segments, each of which shows a different container and a different person carrying Sid, including the woman in a dress with a cardboard carrier with holes on the end the old man hailing a taxi while holding a wicker carrier with Sid inside, a box on the back of a motorcycle, a gray-haired man driving a convertible with a box with holes in it to his left, an old woman carrying Sid in her arms, and Sid in a wicker basket on the front of a bicycle being ridden by someone in a blue sweatshirt. Not twice, but six times. He went with six different people in six different ways.
left page. Sid sits on a table as an older man with a stethoscope and an old woman in a green jacket look down at him. Sid looks over at a large jar of medicine and a spoon. Behind the woman is a large shelf with a variety of jars and canisters. Right page is split into a top and bottom. Top. Sid looks over concerned as the vet pours medicine into a large spoon. Bottom is split into six pictures of Sid being given spoonfuls of medicine. His face changes from looking more alarmed to looking more disgruntled. The vet said Sid's cough wasn't nearly as nasty as it sounded, but to be on the safe side, he should have a spoonful of medicine. Of course, Sid didn't have just one spoonful of medicine. He had six. Left page is split into seven sections. Top, the vet is on the phone. Bottom, the six residents of Aristotle Street are each seen in their own section on their respective phones, responding to their calls from the vets. Right page, all the residents of Aristotle Street stand in a semicircle, glaring down at Sid. He sits stiffly in the middle. Now, one black cat does look much like another, but nobody not even a busy vet, could see the same cat six times without becoming suspicious. Sure enough, when he checked in his appointment book, the vet found six cats with a cough, all living on Aristotle Street. So he called the owners at once, and oh dear, Sid was found out. When they discovered what he had been up to, Sid's owner said he had no business eating so many dinners. Outside in a yard, all the residents of Aristotle Street stand in a group on the left-hand side of a lawn and look over as Sid approaches a plate of cat food. Sid's tail is straight out behind him and he looks alarmed. They said in the future they would make sure he had only one dinner a day. A neighborhood with several identically built buildings in a variety of pastel colors that line both sides of a street. Sid peeks in a doorway of a house with a street sign above the windows and doors that reads, Pythagoras Place. But Sid was a six dinner a day cat, so he went to live at number one Pythagoras Place. He also went to live at numbers two, three, four, five, and six. Sid uses a metal trash can to get onto the windowsill. A group of several children watch Sid while a few others play with marbles in an alleyway. In the street to the right, a middle-aged man with a briefcase looks over his shoulder towards Sid as an older man points over at him. In the distance, other people can be seen walking away towards taller city buildings. Unlike Aristotle Street, the people who lived on Pythagoras Place talked to their neighbors. So right from the start, everyone knew about Sid's six dinners. A group of several children and a woman and man gather around a child holding Sid in his arms while another child pats him on the head. They all look lovingly at him. And because everyone knew, nobody minded. The End